good morning to all my students today i am going to give a lecture on a very important topic that is the nature of international relations i hope it is going to be a very interesting lecture international relation is one of the exciting and diverse subject it is exciting because it addresses some of the most pressing problems shaping the lives of everyone on the planet and methods of war and there are a number of issues we are actually dealing with matters of war peace issues of cooperation and conflict resolution methods the organization of global economy and causes and consequences of global inequality and pending global environmental catastrophe so i believe there is no one no country on planet can live in isolationism and therefore interactions become very much important for all nation states in other words i can say it is mandatory for all nation states to develop a very cordial interaction among themselves they know it because they are rational actors and international relation has been one of the prominent discipline which was a first time the department of international politics which was started in 1919 at the university of wales and this was a remarkable development for the first time in the history of international international relations when we discuss politics in general we mean by it that politics is the process of cooperation it is the process of conflict and it is a process of conflict transformation conflict management and method of conflict resolution there is no country in the world which can claim that i can be independent rather what we can say as a scholar that all the countries of the world they can only grow up they can only move ahead once they have a very strong ties and once they have a compatible relations with one another and that is going to make this planet more progressive more peaceful and more civilized uh, so therefore interaction is very important uh, between the nation states once we talk about the nature of the international relations we have to meant what this subject stands for before moving ahead let me just also tell you there are a number of issues which uh, international politics would be dealing with for example the issues of peace the issues of war the issues of cooperation the issues of environmental uh, problems issues of human rights issues of global economy and there are multiple other issues which are there for example global terrorism and there is no nation on the, on planet which can claim that i am going to sort out these problems these issues uh, with my own rather than cooperation is very prerequisite and it is very mandatory according to goldstein which is a prominent uh, scholar of international relations let me just put his words what he meant by the international relations how he see this subject he says that the field of international relations is primarily concerns the relationship among world governments there is also jackson and sorinson who observed that the main reason why we should study international relation is the fact that the entire population of the world are divided into separate territorial communities or independent states which profoundly affect the way people live so that means it is very clear message for all of us that there are number of countries throughout the world more than 195 countries which are recognized with the united nation organization they they every country know it very well that how important is for that country to be uh, you know uh, the part of global interaction to look at the uh, you know issues very seriously and try to make this world very peaceful very progressive and try to make this you know uh, by by using the compatible relationship 
we uh, all the countries of the world can uh, you know uh, they can overcome all kinds of challenges whether it is a economic challenges whether it is a uh, you know uh, environmental challenges or uh, human uh, rights challenges or any sort of challenge uh, they can really uh, move, move ahead once they are united so in broader sense we do not study only the relations between the states uh, state actors here in uh, in, it, in, in international relations or in global politics or international politics we also study the you know the ngos non governmental organizations ngos international non governmental organizations and uh, we uh, you know there are multiple other actors for example mnc multinational corporations and uh, uh, there are also many international organizations we are going to study in in a very holistic sense it is a study of you know uh, also the state actors in a uh, which is once we are dealing with the uh, once we are talking about the nation states that means we are more concerned with the official relation between the nation states but uh, when we talk about in international relations sense that means the we use all kinds of relations uh, which are there uh, between the nation states uh, it may be economic it may be political it may be cultural it may be any sort of relation between the two between uh, you know different nation states but apart from that there can be there could be a relation uh, there could be uh, uh, you know the agenda of the topic uh, of this uh, discipline uh, you know uh, we have to also deal with mncs we have to see the role of the mncs multinational corporations how they are evolving how they are playing their uh, crucial role and how how is the uh, you know ngos and ngos getting involved uh, uh, and international other international organizations getting involved in number of uh, world affairs and uh, working shoulder to shoulder with the states and uh, therefore uh, it is uh, more or less uh, we can say uh, our subject matter also deals with the nation states as the real actors of international politics but on the side uh, we are also looking at the multinational corporation ngos ngos and uh, and plethora of act uh, actors who are playing a very uh, active role in international politics thank you so much for this lecture uh, uh, going to see you in next lecture thank you so much